<laughs> Thank you, Harry. You know, talking about environment reminds me of a neighbor. My son went over there to visit, and uh, my wife very newsy about it because the woman has a reputation of not being much of a housekeeper. My wife asked my son if it were true that her house was messed up. My son says, well, uh, I don't know. But when the phone answered, it was, she, they couldn't find it. The phone rang, they couldn't find it. I <laughs> <laughs> that was a good joke. Well, actually, I think the woman was rather upset. Uh, she has six kids, and they were pretty rambunctious. And when this phone rang, it was a uh, someone answered, and a woman answered, and uh, asked her how she was, and she told her all her troubles. The woman says, "Well, you just sit back and relax, because I'm going to come over and I'm going to take over. I'll clean your house, and take care of your kids, and everything else." And the woman is flabbergasted. The other woman on the other end says, uh, by the way, how's Sam? Her neighbor says, Sam? Who's Sam? Well, your husband. I don't have a husband by the name of Sam. The woman paused a minute. She says, geez, I must have the wrong number. So her neighbor says, gee, then you're not going to come over? <laughs> Speaker number two is our genial storekeeper, John Galbraith. This week he's going to be speaking on garden pets, and he'll be speaking for five minutes, so let's all start digging. John Galbraith. <laughs> Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters and guests, last week when you were working in your garden, how'd you find your crop of snails? Snails are one of our biggest pests in gardens and lawns. They always have been for many, many years, and they will continue to be unless we find some way to exterminate them. Now, over at the Galbraith Rancho, a few blocks over here on Rybear Way, we have a different type of snail. We have little ones, we have big ones, we have some about like this. Uh, when you stand them up, they're about this high. Uh, even bigger than that. Now, just so that you gentlemen won't doubt my word or think that I'm exaggerating a little bit, I'd like to show you a chart of one that I just traced off last night. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, that's an actual size of a snail. This is about 22 inches. Through this point here, it's 10 inches. And through the lower point, it's 7 inches. Now, we keep these in our garage. This particular one weighs 130 pounds. That's the reason I didn't believe or bring it here today. It's a little awkward to handle. But just to convince you gentlemen that there is such a thing, I did bring one, a small one. This one, according to our bathroom scale, and I think it weighs a little heavy, weighs seven pounds. Gentlemen, this is an ammonite, a species of sea snail. They're estimated to have become extinct seven million years ago, about the time of the dinosaurs. They are found only in Lower Baja, California, on the west coast. This particular field <coughs> was found uh, about seven miles from the little town of Santa Catarina which is 230 miles south of the border on the west coast of Baja, California. My son is a geologist. He and three of his geologist student friends from UCLA took a trip down there in Christmas of 1957. They found the going pretty tough. There's no roads, they were in a pickup truck. They searched for about a week and couldn't find this field. They had a map which was given to them by an instructor, a geology instructor at UCLA. They couldn't find this field, but finally they come upon two Mexican fishermen who motorboat had stopped on. Well, my son can speak Spanish pretty good. 
they overhauled the motor and talking to these Mexican fellas, they couldn't convince them what they were looking for, ammonites. All the Mexicans would keep talking about is concrecitas. Concrecitas, that means a curve. So they followed these fellows' instructions about eight miles back into the mountains or canyons, and they found these. A few of them were protruding from the ground about that much. Others were just be a small rise in the ground. They start digging and they <coughs> come up with about 25 of these. These ammonites became quite large in the sea. The largest one that has ever been found is three feet in diameter, about 14 inches thick at this point and weighs about 180 pounds. So you can see the one we have here, which weighs 130 pounds, is a pretty good specimen. The larger one, which has been found, is now in the University of Mexico, in Mexico City. The animal actually lives in this part of the shell here. And when it's swimming along, it travels in that way. Now as it grows older, it builds more shell on here. You can see these flutes, as they call them. That is the vertebra of this animal. And it is now in a state of sand, more sand than anything. So gentlemen, the next time you get disgusted <coughs> with your yard, with your snails, just be thankful you don't have a hundred or a thousand of these in your front yard. <laughs>